Okay, so let's try and be organised with this. I'm a bit distracted because my very irritating neighbour downstairs is singing and he's not good at it and it's driving me mad. So I'm speaking in a slightly louder voice today to try and drown out the annoying, horrible noise that he's making. Um, it drives me mad. It happens almost every day. And I don't think he hears when I ramp up my music because I think he's listening with headphones which is why he sounds so awful because he's out of tune and I think it's because he can't hear himself anyway so I'm gonna get this done because if I don't I might be sitting here for hours waiting for him to shut up um, <laughs> the main thing I'm gonna do today which I'm going to show you is I'm going to make one of my cakes and I'm gonna make a variation on the very simple recipe that I have done before so this is um, a very simple recipe that you can add anything to depending on your taste and today I am going to make a pear and cinnamon cake and I'm going to show you something. So a few years ago I got really into bottling. Um, foraging in autumn for blackberries resulted in an awful lot of blackberries and I worked out the easiest, simplest way to bottle fruit, which is um, you, it's a, it's a one on one recipe. So it's one part sugar to one part water. You sterilize your bottles by put, putting them in hot water. You then fill up your bottle with your fruit and you pour in the hot sugar water mixture. And this doesn't just work for blackberries and I've had some of my blackberries bottled since 2021 and they're still good. Um, this one is actually from, from last year because uh, I just need a small jar and I only picked a few last year. I'm also going to make an apple and blackberry crumble in a bit but I'm not going to give you the recipe for that because I've done this before. So what I did last year, sometimes when I go to the supermarket, there will be bags of fruit really cheap. It doesn't happen very often and I've had oranges and I've bottled those and this is pears. So I've got about three bags of pears really cheap, I think last year sometime, and I've just done the same thing, just bottle them. So I'm going to put that into my cake today. Uh, the recipe is really, really simple. So I'm just going to get started and make it. And I'll put up the ingredients and the recipe and everything else on the screen as I go. Because that's just the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to turn the camera down to put some light on. Because it's really dark today. It's before lunch. And I'm just going to get on with this and um, I'll, I'll probably talk at the same time because there's other things that I want to um, just talk about generally. The first thing I'm going to say is that yesterday, or in the evening yesterday, uh, I was messing around on the laptop doing my spreadsheets and I touched the screen to wipe off a bit of fluff and discovered that my laptop has a touch screen, <laughs> which I didn't even know. Really good, really like that. Touching stuff on the screen is so much better than using a mouse. Um, I hate the touch pads on laptops. I really loathe them. I always use a mouse, but it's not always practical. Um, when I'm at my standing desk, it's fine. But when I am on, uh, like on the sofa, with my hot water bottle and my slanky and I want to do some stuff and I've got it on my knees it's you know the um, the mouse doesn't work so the touch screen really takes the edge off having to use the touchpad which I really loathe okay so let's get on with what I'm doing here let me get rid of things that are in the way my kitchen is absolute chaos so I hope you can see this okay so the first thing we need is uh, you can use plain or self-raised flour and I've, I've got plain here because that's what I happen to have open at the moment six ounces of self-raised in there and then I'm just going to add uh, half a teaspoon of bicarb because that will help it rise in there it goes. 
that's that done and uh, what's next next we have two ounces of margarine I use the cheapest possible margarine I can get my hands on in that goes I use a very basic method for mixing the two together. I'm not fussy. My cakes are pretty basic. I do not like fussy recipes. So I'm just going to use a fork to blend the margarine. Can you hear that? That's the problem I have. Anyway, so I shall just keep talking. So I'm just going to knead this in as I go. And so I've told you about the laptop. That was amusing. Didn't even know what I bought. Nice little surprise there. Um, what else am I going to talk about? Oh, gosh, I have no idea. Vinted update. Yeah, that's all going really well. Selling stuff. Emptying space on the rail. Um, making a few quid. I've got one more lot to wash and I have one more lot to put on Vinted later on. Um, I think the best stuff has probably sold now. I've put all the knitwear on. Most of it has sold. There were a couple of um, big knitted one size ponchos which didn't stay up very long and there was one big cardigan that I was thinking Do you know what? I'm going to keep that I'll put it on and if no one buys it I'm going to keep it because it had really big pockets in it but someone snatched that up really really fast right so that is pretty much done now this recipe also calls for two ounces of sugar I'm not going to do that because what I tend to do is use um, a bit of this instead. So I'm going to put a bit of sugar in. Um, I'm just going to scatter a bit of sugar in. I don't like things overly sweet. I need no excuse to eat more food than I need to. So I'm just going to whack in a couple of these because the pears are going to be sweet anyway couple of those that's definitely not two ounces of sugar and what else am I going to put in uh, I'm going to leave the wet ingredients for the moment um, actually yeah let's put in the wet ingredients so it told you I'm totally disorganized today six tablespoons of milk uh, this is the tablespoon so six of these one two three four five six any milk will do I've done this with oat milk I have done this is watered down whole milk really makes no difference whatsoever give that a bit of a stir in it looks actually it doesn't even look that damp does it um, what am I going to put in next next I am going to throw in some of the maple syrup. I'm almost out of this bottle, so I think I'm just going to pour that in. There's not too much there. Just get rid of that. Let's use a knife to get the last of those bits out. This is a really slapdash recipe today. I struggled to wake up this morning. I woke up really early and then laid there for ages and then drifted off. And then when the alarm went off, I laid there a bit longer and um, I think I probably fell asleep again. It was like nine o'clock by the time I actually got up, so I'm really disorientated today. I hate it when I get up late. It kind of messes up my day. Right, so that's that. Stir all that in. Now I am going to... Uh, just sort out the pears. I'm going to strain them off. I have a little sieve and a jug. That's that open. Okay. Let's. You won't see this. Oh, actually, we probably could do this on camera. Let's pour that in. 
into there. Not too much juice in those. going to cut these up so let's move that out of the way for the moment make sure those are fully dripped that'll probably do it let's get those on there get that out of the way get an actual cutting knife cut the test them hmm Chop these up into chunks, basically. Oops, almost lost that one overboard. All of them. Do that one. I'm just going to tip that into the mixture. fine if you end up with quite a wet mixture on this because it's obviously it's a cake <laughs> it's going to go into the uh into the pan and then the only thing i'm going to add to this now is excuse the flickering light my um my hob light is on its way out i think um right cinnamon i'm just going to lob this in Ooh, blimey, didn't I just lob that in? That was a bit much. Oh, we like cinnamon, that's okay. We can cope with that. Get all that stirred in. There's your mixture. Done. Right, now I'm going to grease the cake tin. Very simple method of doing this is basically use a pastry brush. I don't bother with things like parchment. It's a waste of money when this works just as well and you end up with it in your recipe. So you're eating it as well, so it's not being wasted. Okay, there's that done. And then I'm just going to I can find it. What have I done with my flour? There it is. A little bit of flour into there. And then you just tap it around. There we go. And now your pan is ready. It doesn't look like much when you put it into the pan, but it does rise. And of course that depends on your oven. My oven's quite good for rising things. I know that different ovens work in different ways. I have an electric fan oven, but there's no way that this is a modern, up-to-date, nice new one. Right, let's, um, let's just throw this in here. I know some people get really kind of quite nervous about cooking and there are lots of people who don't know how to cook and just buy everything ready made. But cooking's fun. I like that I can make the things that I want to eat rather than the rubbish that the shops pre-makes on my behalf and then charges me a fortune for and God knows what's in it as well. Um, been watching some programs lately and they've been cutting corners on ingredients to maximize profit and they're putting quite dubious things into your food now to pad them out with 
cheaper versions of ingredients which is also a bit of a worry now this won't rise all the way to the top of this pan you can I mean you can change the ingredients you can double this if you want to and make a cake that will come out to the top of this but for me it's, it, I'm only one person I've got some other things in the cupboard that I've bought this week so this will do so that's going to go into the oven on a mid heat I tend to throw it in at about 180 and keep going until it's cooked basically I don't make a fuss about it and even that raw ingredients taste quite nice so that's that done I have obviously my blackberries and I've taken some apples from last year's windfalls out of the freezer they're still frozen but it won't matter when I do this um, and I'm going to make a little crumble simple crumble topping three ounces of flour um, two of margarine some sugar and I'll probably throw smokes in just to make it a nice crunchy topping and that will probably do it I just lob things together some days I know I need something made but I, I'm just not in the right headspace for it so I just kind of lob things to go and shove it in the freezer so I'm gonna have the cake I'm gonna have the crumble and then for lunch I'm going to do the um, that Philly Ginsters Philly bake thing with some potatoes and that'll be fine for lunch with uh, a little bit of mayonnaise on the side that will do and uh, for dinner tonight I will probably do the bruschetta or my version of bruschetta um, which will be a real slapdash version but I'll make a nice tea and my teas are light and my lunches are my main meals so that, that, that's my update um, that basic cake recipe you can use for any kind of cake you want to I've used it for parsnip cake courgettes you could make apple cake, orange cake, you've got the pear cake, you could put blackberries in it, you could lob in um, mince meat like, um, like you would make with um, mince pies, that sort of thing. Anything that you like, carrot cake, ginger cake, it's a really basic cake recipe that you can just throw anything into. So have fun with it. Um, it's really cheap and easy to do. You need basic, cheap Save a brand ingredients for all of it. You don't have to bother with the maple syrup. I just use it because I have it in any way. You could just use the sugar and depending on your taste you can up or down the sugar and depending what else you're putting in with it. Things like cinnamon, nutmeg, all those sort of things you can throw in as an added taste if you want to. Experiment with it. Find out what works for you. There's no rule on how you cook your own food at home. Do what you like. As long as you don't make yourself ill, you're good to go. So that's the end of this vlog. I think that's probably enough to be going on with for today. Um, and have a good rest of your week. Uh, ooh, this will probably go out Friday. Have a good weekend instead. <laughs>